The first stop on our tour today is the site of the Ridgewood National Bank. The building was completed in 1910 by the architect Louis Berger. The exterior of the building nowadays looks vastly different to how the building originally looked. In fact, you have to look really closely to see that it is the same building. If you look at the image that I have attached of the original building, the lily designs just below the roof remain from the original facade. But I think that the clearest indication is actually the design of the building right next to the Ridgewood National Bank. On that building, you can still see the original art design just below the roof, along with the faces built into the exterior of the building. The Ridgewood Veterans Triangle was dedicated in 1922 to remember the Ridgewood servicemen who died in World War I. The names of the 110 local residents who gave their lives in the war are etched onto the monument itself. The panels reflect the Army, the Navy and the Air Force. Let us take a moment to reflect on our forefathers who gave their lives for our freedom.
The Ridgewood Theatre opened with six vaudeville acts and photo plays on December the 23rd, 1916. The theatre was owned by William Fox, namesake of 20th Century Fox, between 1923 and 1930. The theatre operated as both a movie theatre and vaudeville stage show through the 1930s. As with mo most movie theatres through the 1960s, it was quite normal for movie stars of the time to make personal appearances at studio-owned theatres. In 1935, the company, 20th Century Fox, was created. So many a star signed to the Fox studio would have appeared at this theatre from the 1930s to the 1960s. One day, I will research through the archives of the Brooklyn Daily Eagle and come up with some of the names of actors and actresses who have made personal appearances here. When the theatre closed in 2008, it was the oldest, continuous, first-run movie theatre in the country. In the 1980s, United Artists purchased the theatre and turned it into a five-screen multiplex. This theatre was actually my local movie theatre, and by the time the 2000s came around, it was a run-down, two-screen twin. Many a day I sat in this small theatre with no more than a handful of other people, watching an afternoon matinee performance. The last movie that I saw with my brother was in this theatre. I remember it well. He was visiting me in New York and we went to see Jackass. In 2010, the facade of this theatre was dedicated as a New York City landmark. So while the interior may be renovated, the exterior will always appear as you see it now.